Hi there everyone! Thank you all guys for tuning in to our channel once again. Today's video request is how to use Canva to create a book cover. So we're gonna get started. Okay, on our homepage, we're gonna go and type in book cover on the search bar. And we're gonna click on book cover right over here. But in case you have a specific dimension in mind, go to custom size and input your specific dimensions over here and choose your desired unit as well and click on create new design. As for me, I'm just gonna go with this one. So I'm gonna click on book cover from the dropdown and I'll be taken to the templates page. So here on the templates page, we have a lot of templates to choose from. So yeah, you can choose to use a template that you can modify or you can also go to the, um, go here, go back up, I mean, and click on create a blank um, cover so that you can create one for yourself from scratch. So here we are. In case you change your mind and decide to use a template instead, you can find the templates right over here on the side panel. And if you're looking for something specific, go ahead and use the search bar. Say, for example, a mystery. Or, say, for example, um, fantasy. And so much more, actually. Okay, so we're going to get started. Now, if you're creating your very own book cover, of course, you're going to have to use your own photos. Um, that is if you want to. So go to the upload section where you'll find all of your photos. If you haven't uploaded your photos to Canva yet, then go ahead and click on Upload Files first. And once you click on that, select the file you want to upload, and then after that, click on this Open button, and it'll automatically be uploaded right over here once you do that. Okay, so we're going to try to choose an example from the pictures that we have here, for example. I unfortunately don't have a lot of pictures that I could use. Mm, okay, not really. Alright, so in that case, I don't have any photos that I could use for now. So to show you an example, I'm just going to go ahead and go to the element section. And I'm going to type in what I want to type in on the search bar. Fairy tale, for example. And I'm going to go to photos to see what photos I can use as an example for today's video. This one looks nice. Uh, okay, so I'm going to right click on this picture and click on set image as background. And to adjust it, I'm going to double click and Adjust the placement just like that. And once you're done, click on done. I'm going to go back. I'm still not quite happy with this picture, so maybe... Okay. Maybe... We're going to change today's genre instead. Maybe that'll do. And I... I think I'd like to cartoonify this, so I'm going to go and click on it and go to Edit Image. And I'm going to go and look for Prisma. I've used Prisma before and I like their, I like its cartoony effects. So I'm going to try to use that in this image. I think it's nice, but let's try to use the other, um, other filters. I think this is lovely. Perhaps we can use that one instead. Okay, now I'd like to add sparkles. I'm going to go to graphics and see what I can find. This is lovely. But it's not what I need, I think. Not for now, at least. Or, yeah, I think I could change the color. So let's see if I can do that. I 
I think it's nice. I'd like to add a gradient now. And perhaps I'll use this one. Or maybe this one. And I'll change it to Okay, I guess that's fine. And now I'm going to go to text. And I'm going to look for text templates here that would look nice on my um, design over here. But if you can't find any, unfortunately, you can just go ahead and create one for yourself. So let's do that in this case. Let's add a text box. And perhaps we're going to entitle our book cover today. It's kind of cliche, but yeah, <laughs> we're going to deal with it. I don't think our photo is perfectly aligned, so I'm going to do that again. Done. Perhaps that's fine. And I'm going to duplicate and type in here, neighbor. This is just very generic. Couldn't think of anything else that's original, unfortunately. Okay, and we're going to select a font now for each of these text elements. So let's go to this bar over here and select a specific font. I'd like to um, look for handwritten or handwriting styled fonts. And this one I'd like to use cursive. So I'm going to type here cursive. Maybe we could change the color to something else, white perhaps. And it's not really that visible. Maybe we can do something about it. Let's go to effects. And let's look for effects right here that would turn our font into something more visible. Okay, that should do it. And for... I'm going to send this backward so that I'd be able to access the uh, text element, the... And okay, now we're going to change its color as well. So we're going to change it to whatever color we like. And add an effect to it as well. And I'm going to click on this, click on this one, and then copy style, and click on this one. I'd like to change the color of the outline to black. And this one, for this one as well. I'd like to adjust it. And I'd like to adjust the spacing to see how it would look like. Okay. And perhaps I'm going to Put them somewhere over here. Can't really see them anymore. Okay, maybe I should change the color of this highlight into something darker so that I'd be able to see these texts over here. Mm, I think that's much better. Perhaps. Okay, that should do it. And now it's time to add the name of the author somewhere over here below. So I'm going to, um, okay, duplicate this one. And then perhaps I'll remove the anime and the effect. And I'll just choose black and then type the name here, Jane. Oh, sorry. Jane Doe.
and then I'm going to copy this one or duplicate this one and type here, remove the effect and choose black for the color and then say bye. I'm going to zoom in and I think that should be okay. All right. So yeah, we're just, I'm still not very happy with the color of this one. Okay. How about this one? Okay. How about that? All right. So I guess that's it. And yeah, you can design your book cover however you want to you can keep adding elements to it on the element section until you're happy with it and once you're done you can finally download your book cover go to share click on download and select your preferred file type here also depending on the purpose of your book cover for digital book covers um yeah, image format, PNG would be all right, but when it comes to prints, PDF, PDF standard would be the best and is recommended or suggested by Canva. So, yep, choose your preferred file type and then, oh, let me go back again. So download, choose your preferred file type, and then make sure to check other download settings as well and tweak them according to your preferences. And once everything's all set, then click on download. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope that you found today's video of help somehow. And we look forward to seeing you again in the next video. You have a great day.